Hello, and welcome back, or welcome to some more Piecing Building Simulator 2. Uh, so we're still running around in our shop here. Uh, we've just completed uh, our day. We're going to go ahead and uh, advance to the next day, get everything ordered. We'll go ahead and end the day. We had all of our deliveries today. We have everything done. We should have some more stuff coming in tomorrow. Uh, I think we have uh, the computer that got hit by the weather weather uh to get that sorted um <laughs> i should have advanced uh all right here we go uh, so customize paint the case purple apply stickers do not paint the glass all right so we're gonna paint the case purple we're gonna stick some heart stickers on it right so we're gonna look in here on at our emails real quick just to make sure they didn't have some weird up in here uh qds remind me here about council parking right job if you want you know, it's just useful friends in the area uh no bubbly but we're a bubbly bunch of our qts customized to fit our image large box of computer in my salon and uh, business nice hearts stuck on it too that'd be grand all right so all right so we don't have anything really really too much to do here so we'll uh paint the case purple we need to apply four heart emojis so we'll paint case purple make sure we do not apply onto the glass because uh that will make them sad i want to go yeah we'll go, we're gonna go deeper purple we'll get all that painted Get up here to the top. Purple, for some reason, always seems to turn a little pink. The uh, the lights seem to do some weird things to it. And then we uh, we have some issues, too, with the the, uh, the old banner there being in the way. Pink, pink. All right, so we got all that stuff. We got them all painted up. Now we'll uh, do that. We'll get us some stickers, uh, shapes. We'll do heart shape, sick color. We're going to go with pink. Firm. So we'll do, do a heart like that. And then we'll do a hold control. We'll shrink it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Left alt. Okay. Tweak it a little bit more. Do that. Left alt will rotate it the other way. Put some put some hearts on there. And then we'll put one on the front. Oh, they need heart emotions. Uh, so you actually want this heart emoji, huh? You're gonna get you can get lots of hearts then. It's all off centered. Oh, it's all off centered. There you go. So lots of hearts on it. So go ahead, pick that up. Go ahead. Punt that out the back door. All right, so we'll fix this guy's computer. This should be fine. Uh, so somewhere in this one, I'm sure it's going to be a replace mother report, replace power supply, and then can boot to the OS, right? So these replacing motherboards suck. Uh, and the reason they suck is because you have to rip everything out of this machine and then eventually get it all put back in. Should have got the new motherboard. I'm probably going to go grab it out of parts. Okay, that was fine. So we'll go in here, right? And then we got to pull this guy out. 
So the issue is, is like I said, you have to literally pull everything out. Uh, and then, so you would think with this one too, uh, right? So we'll pull more, more cables, more cables. Got to undo the fan headers. So then we'll pull that out, right? So you got to pull the screws out for the motherboard. So these are the, the screws here. You would think, let's see if they've changed it, right? But now I don't want to actually pull these screws out, but it makes me. So if I hit escape, it basically, it, it puts the motherboard back in there. So in order for me to take this thing out, I have to take out all the standoffs. Even though I'm putting the exact same motherboard back in, um, I still have to take all the standoffs out. So then I have to go through every one of the standoffs. And honestly, like if I re ever replaced a motherboard in a machine, I have never taken the standoffs out. Um, I look to see which standoffs are in there, see what's that, and then, then start putting things back together. Uh, so we'll go back to motherboards, right? So and we're putting the exact same motherboard back in. So, but now I have to put the exact same standoffs back in that I just took out. So, and then the, the probably the beginning of this game, the really bad part is, is, is trying to get all this stuff in and trying to get the, uh, this stuff kind of, the, the screws and the cables are really the most annoying part of this game. Uh, and I'll probably start doing screw stuff probably soon uh, to, to buy that upgrade. Uh, actually, I need to open that. So then we're going to go to root parts. Nice I say I took the thermal paste off for us. All right, so those are in. Uh, we'll stick the RAM back in. Oh, no, oh, the RAM can't go in because I the live uh, tools. Let's get that. Make sure that we uh, have a good amount of thermal paste on it. Go ahead. We'll open that guy. We'll open that guy. Go back to installing, back to remove parts. Yep, yours gets going upside down too. Make me go through all this stuff. I'm putting your I'm putting your cooler label upside down. Cables. So we'll start basically plugging cables in, and then you'll see like these are the front panel connectors for the motherboard. Uh, we can kind of start getting these things going in. Right. So all that stuff is good. We'll put power supply in. Power supply. So I think we just took a AB to 650 out. I think this is, yeah, this this is the one that I, I bought for this machine. So that way you put the exact same thing back in it. Uh, it, it does help like the, the game. Sometimes you can kind of get away with it and you can kind of get a little cheeky and put in a different, a different thing and save yourself a little bit of money uh, sometimes, but sometimes the game gets really, really uppy about it. And it's, you never really know until, uh, until you do it. I'm honestly surprised they didn't make rip the damn thing out. The little piece grater for your fingers. If you ever built a computer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so that should all be that. We should be good. We should power it up. It should all boot. I'll install the rest of the move side panel here. All right, so that thing is up and running. All right, so T, go Let's fix this. That stuff is all done. Customize that. It's all good. So we'll collect that money. So five stars for that. Yay! Five stars. All right. Delete that. So we'll make sure fix 
Uh, I don't see anything. Sometimes they'll ask you to like, you know, paint it or, you know, they'll be like, oh, I really wish my computer was pink. And then sometimes just missing that thing, it just, you know, costs you a lot of money. All right, so this this is the time time spy. So this is that's the computer I'm building. Go remove the side panel. Do that. Pull that guy out. Pull that off. Oh look, it turns it off. That's great. So let's go ahead and install graphics cards. So this is a 750 Gamer. This is the one we're putting in. I don't only need one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this is going to be a pain in my butt. No, oh, but let me actually put it back in there. All right, cool. Uh, cable. I plug that in. Plug that back in. Power that on. Install the side panel. Let that thing start booting while we're going. Now we've changed parts in it, so our time spy has gone away. So now we got to run time spy again. So we'll run that. But now we should be able to actually leave it. So you can actually let it just run time spy as you go off and do other things. Uh, this guy over here, we should be able to have our SFX power supply now. Go ahead and get cables for this guy. Slowly get all this stuff plugged back in. That doesn't seem like the safest way to plug that in, but whatever. I think we have all the cables plugged in. Does it work? Incomplete case I'm fine with. I can live with an incomplete case. You're still running. Just make sure that this thing will actually boot. It does boot. All right, install parts. Part side panel. Look at that a little fancy. That's actually a, that's actually a kind of cool case. All right, we can go punt this thing out the front door and and finally sell it. Oh no, well, we we still got stuff over there. Uh, Seven hundred eight. So we'll go a thousand fifty. No, actually, US. I think we're up to five now. I don't know. We're just naming stuff. So 780, so 350, maybe 1050 plus 80. So about 1150. Could be able to get 1150 out of it. Doesn't always. Here, 1150. Let's try that. I like that. 53% chance of a sell. The other two are still kind of hanging out there. This guy is a time spy of 2251. So technically, I only needed a time spy score of, of 2000. Uh, so I probably could have gotten away with that a little bit easier. Uh, so we'll go ahead, yank that out of the wall. We'll punt that in the back here. Uh, so all that stuff is gone. So we'll collect that. Yay, five stars again. Delete that guy. Uh, let's see, diagnose and fix. Uh, so anyway, so hi there, Joe from Cupcake Conjurers. Sorry, I carried away. Anyway, I've got a problem, a serious problem. Can you imagine? It gets hot in here. Ovens, volcano sometimes. Right now it's normal. It's pretty hot. PC likes to be caked. It's hot, really hot. So it has a tendency to say it's stuff's hot. Put an air kind of full blast. The fan's pointing at it, trying to cool it down, but it turns itself off when I'm starting it. Uh, that's it. My ovens are that you would do that. PC takes a look at me. Wrong. Uh, diagnose and fix. 
So it sounds like he's got a heat problem, right? So uh, basically, this is going to have us use the the uh, the thermal vision on our, our camera, right? My PC looks too boring. Can you apply some of those Work Treasure 2 stickers? I got to have it by 10, 26, 22. Uh, that's okay. It's not too dusty, right? So here it is. So it's like, is it okay that it's not that it's so dusty and that's basically saying hey can you clean the dust out for me pretty much pretty much what it says right so we'll go ahead and accept that one too uh but uh we'll delete that we don't care uh i don't actually read those so now we'll go in here uh we'll close this guy down we're gonna go into our spares and repairs broken graphics card that one's fairly easy to fix. I probably even have stuff to fix it with. Uh, broken power supply. We have that broken uh, CPU RAM. Uh, broken motherboard. Yeah, we're not doing a motherboard right now. This is everything's broken. So we're just going to buy this one. And then we're going to buy this one. So we'll buy both of those real quick. So this should be a broken video card. So we'll, we'll rip the side panel off of it here real quick. And you'll be able to tell real quick because the uh, that's actually a decent video card. It looks like though, but like we can just throw whatever we want back in. So if we go to video card. Jeffers cards. Um, yeah, so I have the both of those are broken. Yeah, so I have basically uh, this is the best one I have is this guy here. So we're just going to throw this guy in there. Right? And it's, it's just quick money, right? It's just trying to get basically as much money as we can out of these things as quickly as we can. Uh, and Especially when you're you have spare parts that you can use with them that don't take anything. Like I can go in and adjust a couple of things, but it's about speed, really. Um, if you're trying to get every penny you can out of it, sure you can get a little bit more. Um, but uh, sometimes it's just about kicking stuff out the front door and allowing it to sell. And making sure we have stuff out here that is being sold. So this is 478. So let's go like uh well, let's edit the computer name. Right? So 550. So 775 sounds good. Right? Just extra money. Extra money. I probably could have went to 800. It's it's fine. Now, this other one, unfortunately, oh, where'd it go? It's in here. I, I'll eventually get it. There's a lot of running around. It's trying to it's trying to get stuff kind of go through. Uh, so this one is the power supply is busted, right? So the power supply is actually hidden down here. So we'll pull this back panel off, flip it around. And it would be nice to be able to get some of that stuff. So what I may do between this episode and next, unfortunately, uh, I'm trying to get, make sure I have a lot. Of, okay, would you, would you spin? Go away. Go away. Um, I'm trying to make sure, like, at least for the new stuff, the new mechanics, the new stuff trying to do, like, and we have the, the temperature thing to do tomorrow. Uh, like, I'm trying to make sure that hey, that stuff is shown. Um, I don't know if it's a good plan or not. So it's a, they got an SP500 in there. Um, I think I have some 550s. Yeah, I have a 550 right here. So we'll put a 550 in it. Um, I'm trying to, at least the new mechanics, as the new mechanics are, are displayed and stuff like that, I'm trying to do that um, and make sure that we have, like, you know, the different stuff and in case somebody's wondering. But I don't know if anybody's going to watch through all this stuff. So maybe I should just 
I might just take this tonight and uh, maybe I'll stream this one on Discord for a little bit tonight and see if I can just knock out some levels and get get up into to higher end stuff. Power that bad boy on. And this one doesn't matter because uh, I can't sell it. Uh, so what we're going to do is I think we're good. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to advance to the next day. Um, I think, yeah, all that stuff comes in. And then we got to have $800 for tomorrow. Uh, so in the day, so we, you have to have the $800 for your rent. I don't know what happens if you don't have the $800. I've never, I've never tried that. Uh, I don't know if they're just like, oh, you, you're going to have to pay us tomorrow. Or if it's like, oh, game over, get out. Do not have those answers. All right. So let's go with the diagnose. So let me guess. Yep, there you go. This customer computer appears to be working, but it's faulty part causing it to overheat. Uh, we must find the faulty part in the thermal app on the tablet. First, need to open the PC and power it up to get started. Right, so we'll, we'll rip the case off of it. Oh, that is a lot of stuff for a bakery computer. You're running uh, either SLI or Crossfire. I think those are NVIDIA cards. No, wait, no, those are our are, are cards, I think. We'll power that on. Great, next step, open the tablet, bottom right corner screen, and look at the thermal app. Left click on the thermal app. Thermal app, thermal app is used to, oh, look at that, okay. Oh, look, a piece of RAM is overheating. Left click on the camera's app, uh, reach and move crosshairs. Oh, look at that. That's not really that bad. That's that's getting a bit warmer. Probably, probably shouldn't have your, your RAM that warm. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead and left click. So basically what you can do is you can look at the, the computer and you can see where it's running warm. And that's it. The thermal app is uh, helpful to identify the RAM as faulty. You just need to order a replacement part and install it in the job. Faulty parts can be identified by flickering LEDs, flashing, stopping, or loud, right? So basically we have a bad stick of RAM. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll power that down. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back to remove get that guy out of here that so we're gonna go in here we're gonna go back to our email <clears throat> we're gonna go to the diagnose we're gonna go to PC stats we're going to go to the RAM here we're gonna do that we'll click on that bad boy say that and we will go diagnose and fix confirm and then really nine dollars that's all that RAM is Probably should have bought more of it. All right, so that will come in later. Uh, so that thing's going to sit there and collect dust. And speaking of dust, we'll go grab this guy here real quick. So and I've kind of blown the dust out of a computer before, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically clean the PC. This PC is filthy. Give it a good clean before you return to the customer. Like it, I, I wonder if it would allow me to do it. I'm trying to remove the side panel, but you're being difficult, right? I don't want to remove that side. Oh God, now I'm removing wires. Now I'm removing, I'm removing everything except for what I need to remove. Okay, go away. And you don't actually need to remove both side panels. Uh, tools, depressed air, right? And then I, I can do this and go, and just go from this side and just blow everything out. It's fine. And I would have pulled dust filters out. I would have pulled, like, like you want to pull the dust filters out of this thing and stuff like that. Are you going to make me turn, turn around? There you go. Dust removed. Yep, didn't even turn around. Didn't even, didn't even need the back side of it off. All right. Uh, let's see. Go back to remove components. Side panel. Side panel back on it. Uh, find the cable that I unplugged. And unfortunately, because I unplugged that cable, 
I'm going to probably have to plug everything in and make sure the thing powers up. And it's better to know now than... trying to go down the path and find out in a little bit that I uh, posed myself. Okay. Apply stickers to the case. All right, what kind of stickers do this jerk well, this guy want? Uh, D. Uh, email, customize, work treasure two. All right. Apply stickers. Uh, so let's go to game. Oh, games. Uh, Mars, good company. Game live mixed weekly EVGA. Um, Billion Friends, Overclockers, Bill Series, Spiral House, Keyboard Strategists. Oh, Linus Tech Tips has cats. Okay. Um, uh, that's ogre. Um, or treasure two. There you go. Or treasure two. You tell me only one at or treasure two, so those are the ones you got, my friend. All right, so we'll go kick this one to the curb while we're at it. Go ahead, do this. We'll collect that one. Lick five stars. The thing is, the day I bought it, hundred twenty dollars putting the stickers on and blowing dirt up. All right, so that's good there. Um. I think that stuff is good. Speaking of which, uh, let's go. Did we sell anything? Chop sales. Got a little bit of money from that one. Looks like our profit was two grand on that one. That's that's helpful. Yeah, so see, you can actually, selling those computers out there is actually really worth your money. All right, so we're going to go to shop. We're going to go to power-ups. And uh, all screws screw themselves in automatically. Um, I think we're going to take that one. I'm not worried about parts selling faster. Um, I'm the auto cable. Um, well, actually, auto connect. I'm gonna buy this one. Buy this one. Uh, the standoff, I just won't do motherboards until I have to. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, and then auto cable. Go ahead and add that one too. So that's going to spend six grand. It's going to it's going to hurt me, uh, but I still have a couple of computers, uh, and I want to buy those now. So that way we'll have that that stuff. So now I should be able to. Uh, so if I go and pick this computer up, right? So let's go ahead. We'll close. We'll close the doors on this one, and then we'll go ahead and pick it up, and then we'll put it back down. So now if I hit the P, all the cables plug into it, and that makes my life easier. I like easier. So we'll go ahead and send this thing out here in the front. We're going to call this one DOS 7. We'll save that. 800. So we'll take, take this up to $1,200 now. Beep. 
We'll go ahead and sell that bad boy. So that guy is off and going. And let's see what other uh let's look in here. Let's see. Let's see if we find another quick one to do. Um spares and repairs. Broken Intel I9700 A. Uh broken, so that's just a broken power supply. So we'll buy that one. Silver stone. Is that the power supply? Power supply and RAM. And technically we could just pull that one out. Uh, do I want to deal with it though? All right, so we're just going to do that one. So we'll just grab the one, see if we get some more stuff tomorrow. Like I said, uh, I'm just trying to, to make sure I have enough of these things in. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to throw this guy in here. Now with our, our fancy new things, I, I do that. I'm like, okay, that's great. Uh, if I want to take the back cable off, I right-click on it. It all pulls the screws out. Now I still have to remove the wires. So that's not not quite good yet. But at least we're pulling the screws out, right? So then we'll install, we'll go a new power supply. Uh, we'll get us a 650 back in here. That will put in, all the wires get connected, everything's good. I'll check the cable just to make sure I didn't have any extra weird cables, right? Make sure this thing powers up. Uh, I did I did disconnect that that. All right. See, that's why I checked that. All right, so that is all good. Should be good to go there. We're powering up that. Remove components. Put the side panel back on it. It makes my life so much easier to be able to, to just go, okay, done. Like all all this stuff is basically screwed in. It's up and running. Everything's fine. Going get out. We'll go out here in the front, throw it in the corner, it's 598, so we'll go ahead and name it. Do, 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 do. Right, so 670, so uh, nine, about 1,000, 1,025 or so. Nope, too high. So we'll, we'll just do a thousand. That's fine. Sell that bad boy and off we go. So then we have all of our computers up and for sale. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll probably just run through some of this stuff tonight. If I see anything more weird, like obviously throwing the RAM back in there, y'all y'all have seen that plenty of times. Uh, if I see something, you know, too, too weird, uh, I'll make a note of it and we'll kind of go over it in the next, the next playthrough. Uh, but with that, we will let y'all go, and we will talk to y'all soon.